Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make an overlay for Twitch TV or YouTube or any live streaming or recording or whatever. Basically a thing that goes on your screen that might show your social icons, it might show a thing around your webcam, it might have a place that says recent donations and then obviously you can add in those recent donations via all the other things out there like Streamlabs, OBS and all that stuff. But today we're going to be doing the overlay that is behind all of that or above the game. Any, anyway, you get the point, the thing that goes around your webcam, so your social icons, stuff like that. Now, first and foremost, you will need something to edit this with. I would recommend using GIMP if you don't have Photoshop. We're going to be using Photoshop in this video, but GIMP is a free alternative to Photoshop, and it is linked down below if you don't have Photoshop or the ability to use Photoshop, don't know how to use Photoshop. GIMP is a very similar program and will allow you to do a similar thing. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop here. And whether you're in Photoshop or GIMP or whatever, you want to go ahead and create a new kind of image here and a new platform to start from. Now, the resolution is going to be the same here in 1920 by 1080, whether you're on Photoshop or GIMP. Basically, everything is going to be the same except some of the tools that I'm clicking. But the resolution is going to be 1920 by 1080 here. Then we want to go ahead and create that. And this gives us just a white box that is 1920 by 1080, also known as 1080p, which is probably the resolution you're streaming at. If you're streaming at like 4K, you would want to make a bigger overlay for that, but I don't think anybody's streaming at 4K these days. So nevertheless, this is 1080p. Now, at this point, I'm going to assume you want to do an overlay of your face cam which would probably also be 1080p. That's helpful because we can just click down here and unlock this background and then go ahead and resize this background with control T and uh, just drag it down to the corner. And this is where our webcam is going to go, which is in the bottom right corner there. Now, if you wanna make something around that, you can right click over here on the layers tab, click on blend options, and then you can click on stroke. See that? And it's going to create like this little black box around your webcam there. So that's what we want to go ahead and do is take this and up this to however thick or small you want this to be. I'm thinking probably right about there. You can change the color to whatever you want as well. I like the uh, the white stroke there. Now, here's what we're going to do. You might be like, what? What is even happening? For those of you who know Photoshop, you're really like, how is he going to do this and make this like disappear? Well, I'm going to use something that's a little bit of a hack here. We're going to go back in this like same place, this layer style where we did the stroke. We've accessed color overlay. I'm now going to change this to black because we added a white outline on it. Go ahead and click OK there. Now we need to resize this. Again, Control T is the, the thing to do that with. And we just want to make sure that we get all of that border in there. Now, if you don't want the border on the, the side up against like the you know edge of the frame, you don't have to. That is up to you, whatever you want to do there. So there we have that. Now I'm going to go ahead, right click on the layer over here, and then I'm going to rasterize that layer by clicking Rasterize Layer Styles there. Now it's all one thing, it's, it's no longer stylized, so I can go ahead and use the magic eraser to delete that black background, and now there's just an overlay for the webcam. Again, a bit of a hack there, but it's hard to see. But if we do zoom in, we can scroll down to the bottom corner, right, like so, and we can see that there is a white outline down here for our webcam. Something else that's kind of helpful is like throwing a screenshot of a game in the background. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna grab a random Minecraft screenshot from my desktop here. I've also got some other stuff. We're going to be adding some social icons and stuff. So random screenshot of Minecraft. Just going to put that in the background there. That way you can see that this is in fact 1080p. Kind of what it would look like in game. Actually, I think this is screenshot 4K. Yes, it is. Hold on. Let me resize that real quick and get that kind of in line here. <laughs> make it all look a little better. There we go. Now that's kind of how it's going to look in game. Not exactly, but close enough. You can kind of see what it's going to look like. So you would use your game of choice if it's Fortnite, whatever it is, this is what you would do with it. Now, our face cam is in the bottom right. We've got an overlay there. Let's say you didn't like that border extending off. You wanted it to cut off, you would just move it over, right? Like so, and it would cut off. Obviously you would be losing just a hair of real estate for your webcam, but that's not going to matter too much in the long run. So there's that. Now let's say we wanted to add our name over the webcam. So let's go ahead and grab a font real quick. I'll just do the IP of our server. Actually, you could add your name, but I'm going to add the IP of our server just because that's what I would actually want here. I probably won't use this, but I might. Who knows? So let's go play.breakdowncraft.com. That's our Minecraft server there. Let me go ahead. Obviously, we'll need to make this smaller. It's going to mess around these font seconds or this font for a bit, and uh, I'll see you after a quick jump cut. There we go. We've got our server down there now that's 
a white on white sort of thing that's typically bad design style there but again i doubt i'll use this but i did go ahead and throw some uh, a little one pixel stroke on it and some some drop shadow just to be able to you know make it look good you can see that over here in the effects but there's that now, what about adding in social icons? Now, let's say you wanted to add these in the bottom. Let's say you maybe wanted to add them across the top. Well, first and foremost, you need some social icons to do that with. I just Googled these. You need to go and, and get some good ones if you're actually going to use them. But since I'm just using this for educational purposes, we're fine here. But make sure you do have the rights to use whatever icons you use, whether it's going to the official brand's website and getting whatever their like brand licensing is, which is very, very simple. YouTube, Twitter, all of them have these things that you can use and stuff like this. Or if you do use like random icons, make sure you have rights to those icons and from that designer. Otherwise, you know, you're, you're not using stuff with the correct rights usage, which is not okay. So nevertheless, we're good here because it's for educational purposes. However, for the most part, not something. I would recommend doing whenever you're like ready to, uh, you know, actually use this on your Twitch channel or YouTube channel or wherever you're using this at. So one of the quickest things and one of the easiest things for us to do here is actually going to be rescaling these and kind of figuring out where they're going to go. So there's a few different ways you could do this. We're just, again, control T to rescale. And we're just going to just put these somewhere. I don't know. Let's try at the top up here. This might be a bit overwhelming having all these across the top, but for now, this is what we'll do. So we're going to start off with Instagram. And of course, I use my actual social channels here. So we want to make them all about the same size. So let me go ahead and resize these to the same size as that, and then we'll be good to go. There we go. These are all now laid out and in line with each other. Now we just need to add in some text here. For example, Instagram is Nick King XYZ. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Link in the description down below. But nevertheless, that is what that is. Let's go for like something like a Babis Nuo here and just see how it looks. So there's that. Let me make it just a hair bigger and then we'll be good to go. I'm going to copy that on over the rest of these social channels. And then after that, we'll like resize it and you're done. I'll show you exactly how to add this in game to OBS and then you'll be, you'll, you'll be done. There we go. Those are now resized and in their correct place and I'll have their social channels. And if you remove that, this is how it looks. Now it's important that you remove the background from this because when you put this into OBS, you want to make sure you can see the background. So I'm going to go ahead and save this real quick. Now, when you do save it, I would recommend file saving it as a Photoshop document or on GIMP, a GIMP editable document. That's going to be the first thing that it pulls up here. So we're just going to do overlay, for example, as a Photoshop document. That way you can come back and edit. If you put it in game and you don't like something about it, you can come back and change it. However, we can do file save as here yet again and then we'll be able to save this as a png if you save it as anything other than a png png you won't be able to use it so you need to make sure this is a png file whether you're using gimp or photoshop it's a png file and then we go ahead and click save and click ok now i'm going to go ahead and open up obs i'll see you after a quick jump cut so here we are in obs studio as you can tell i have minecraft open in the background as well just because well i mean it, it's easier that way for you guys to be able to see what's going on in game so what we want to go ahead and do is click the plus button down here under sources that little plus button and then we want to click on image see that click image and now we want to click add this is overlay right you can name it whatever you want hit enter then we want to click browse here now we want to find the uh, image we just created in our case that's going to be right here this overlay and now once we click on that it should scale immediately if you're doing 1080p it should just immediately fit onto the screen if not you need to make sure you're using the same resolution that way text isn't blurry and things like that but if you ask me that actually looks pretty good i'm actually kind of happy with that it looks better than i expected so nevertheless there is that that is how you can do that now if i jump over into game you'll be able to see that moving around in the background back there and everything is, is good to go some players that spawn, all sorts of awesome stuff like that. But nevertheless, that is uh, that is how you can set up and create a overlay for Twitch, YouTube, whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, all this was created in this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, looking at some other Photoshop or GIMP tutorials could help you out if you're having some issues with like some of the shortcuts I mentioned and stuff like that. Because I'm not, my purpose of this wasn't to create a Photoshop tutorial. It was more of to create like a tutorial showing you that you needed the clear background, how stuff can look good and look positioned. I mean, me to just come to this, up with this all the time in my head. This looks pretty good, right? You can also exchange this up here for donation buttons. You can put the donations at the bottom of the screen. There's so many options, but that is a very simple and basic setup. If you guys have any questions, again, let me know in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up if it helps you out. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.